everybody, what is up? My name is Alan Tinkintiggy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys happen to be new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it means the world to me. And in today's video, it is Future Island coming to basically give you guys a message. So this video was actually filmed two weeks ago and my procrastination stopped me from posting it. And because of that, some of my footage was deleted for my introduction to this video. So I'm just gonna refilm it, which I'm doing right now. So yeah. In today's video, I will be doing a Brandy Melville haul. Well, I'm gonna be unboxing Brandy Melville, trying it on, basically showing it for you guys. This is like one of the biggest Brandy hauls I think I've ever done. I'm not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna get straight into the video. We basically left off from me getting the package and basically sliding it out of the parcel. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys soon. We're gonna try slide them all out, see how this goes. Oh, this is not gonna work. I already feel it. Okay, we're getting there, kind of. It's like hop out. There's so many clothes in here. Okay. But look at this. Here is the package. Okay, look at how many clothes there are. I'm excited. Okay, here it is. Look at that. Wow. So much clothes. We have a lot to get through. Here is my order slip, basically of all the items I have. I'm gonna see if they put anything on the inside. Oh no, I did, I was just sitting on them. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, so we have free stickers here. So the first sticker says London Chelsea. I have like a billion of these ones. This is one I haven't seen before and this is some kind of dragon inside the middle of a lifeboat ring and it says, where's the beach? I've also never seen this one before. This one says Malibu Racing. It's basically some race flags. Those are super, super cute. So I think how this is gonna go, I'm gonna review the tops first. Then we're gonna do the bottom. I'm gonna quickly organize these. I'll get back to you and we can start with the try on haul. So here are all the tops. So there is a lot of tops. Here are the bottoms and we are gonna get right into the video. If you're watching this, pause, stop the video, go get some water. I think they sent us another extra because I did not see this before. Here is something. We're about to find out what it is and some bubble wrap and we're gonna open it right up. So they sent us another race card one and another where's the beach sticker. And they also sent us some cute little star earrings. We didn't order these, so these came as little extras. I think that's super cute, so thank you, Brandy, for that. And yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. So the first top we are reviewing today is the Caroline top. So the Caroline top is basically a white polo shirt. Look at that. It's super, super soft. It has stunning white buttons down the middle. And it also has a nice collar. I'm pretty sure it's made out of cotton because this top is so soft. This one is not scented. So for those of you who don't know, Brandy Sensor clothes. This one is not scented, but it is still really beautiful. The buttons have a few little loose hairs, which you can kind of see here. There's a few that are like this. The material is really thick. It's really nice. It's sewn really well. This top isn't the stretchiest. Like it could stretch a bit, but it's not that stretchy. I think that's due to the fabric being quite thick. It's also short sleeved. Overall, I feel like this is a really, really cute top. I feel like it goes well with a lot of different clothes. The fabric is super good quality. Personally, I just think it's really amazing. And there's not that much else to say on this top, so that was the Caroline top. So next we are moving on to the Caroline hoodie. Here is the Caroline hoodie. First thing I noticed that it is so soft, like so soft. It feels like a blanket. I've never bought a Brandy Melville hoodie before because I don't know, I don't feel like they look that nice on the website, but in real life, this is so nice. The material is so, so thick. Only critique I would have, you know how on the ends of the string things on the hoodie, it looks kind of like ruffled like this. I know that's like part of the design, but I don't think it looks that nice. Like I feel like it just looks damaged. They have a silver zip down the middle. As you can see from the inside, it's kind of like a cotton fabric. It's sewn nicely together. It also has these nice front pockets. The edges of the sleeve kind of frill out, not frill out, they kind of sewn like a bit tighter. So it gives that like cuffed look. Same with the bottom. You can see it like here as well. This one is also not scented. It's so soft and it's so comfortable. If you are thinking of getting a hoodie from Brandy Mobile, definitely would go with one of these. I think they're amazing. Minus the little floofle thing 
but overall i think it's pretty good this jumper is super cute i really really like it next we are gonna move on to the amara top so i've been dying to get an amara top for the longest time here it is and it is way smaller than i expected it to be thought it was gonna be way bigger especially in the midriff section and i also thought the midriff section would be bigger but if i just show it up to close the camera it's really not it's pretty covered it just gives you a nice v-neck and it kind of goes like that they have like a separate block at the bottom to kind of give you a bit more of a cinch waist which we sister love so this one is not as soft as the others but it is still quite soft it's stretchy it stretches a bit well i mean it's good for these kind of tops to hold their shape so i understand why it's not the stretchiest if i'm gonna be honest i feel like this top really complements someone's shape i feel like it looks really really good i'm actually pleasantly surprised I I chose not to get this top for the longest time because I thought it wouldn't really look that nice and it would be like big and patchy in places when in reality it's really small, it's cropped and it's really really nice fitted. This one is not scented either but that doesn't really really matter. I don't know, I really really like it. It's very very cropped, it's short sleeved. I love the way the line looks down the middle, I feel like it looks really really pretty. And overall, I think it's a really, really nice top. So yeah, that is the Amara top. So next, we are going to move on to the Miss New York sweatshirt. So this is a navy blue sweatshirt. With the top, is kind of a hooded polo style. It says New York printed on the front. It has a silver zip down the middle. And here you have a collar that kind of works a bit like a crew neck. It's kind of like a jumper with an added collar and crew neck. Gives me kind of like dad vibes, if you know what I mean. But like in a good way. I think the color is super pretty. It's like... A muted purple navy blue there's nothing really special about the fabric if that makes sense but it is still really really comfortable to wear it has really really long sleeves and it is not cropped the fabric quality is really nice this is strange this one doesn't have the brandy logo on it wait look this one doesn't say brandy melville it has a different company on it but i think it's super cute the color is really nice i've said that a million times but i'm in love with the color it's just like a basic nice jumper and there's not much i can really say about that so we're just gonna move on and next we have the helen butterfly top so this is a top i've been eyeing on the website for ages and my sister had the courage to buy it because look how adorable this is look at that so this is kind of like a raspberry pink crop top it's super super pretty is really nice on the middle there is this really really cute embroidered pink butterfly so where do we begin so the color of this top is sewn in this way to make it a bit more inward and in a u-shape the bottom is cropped but they cut the bottom in a way where it's a bit it's a bit more rigid to give it more of that indie look the fabric it feels thick kind of feels like a towel sleeves are pretty ordinary i just love the way this looks i feel like it's adorable and people usually have like how brandy's butterfly is their signature thing i think the embroidered butterfly is really what sells this to people it's just so cute honestly so cute it's so adorable oh i really really like it it's so pretty it's not like in your face it's just muted and yeah so we are gonna move on because i cannot stop gushing about this so we have to Ooh. and we are gonna move on to our next item so next we are moving on to an item i actually selected out for myself and that is the riley sweater desk so i've always wanted to get a top that looks like this adorable i even bought a white tennis skirt the other day so i got a white skirt to match with this because it is so cute the fabric is super light but it's really pretty it basically has navy blue checkers with white checkers too it is so stretchy i cannot even stress this enough the fabric is kind of itchy if that makes sense like it's really really soft so it goes down in a v-neck and there is no sleeves this just basically goes down like that there is no design on the back which i just think it looks super cute the checker design has these like green stitches across of it i feel like they look really really cute i really really like this i've been wanting one for ages i feel like it just looks super pretty i wanted one for so long i even tried buying one on depop before like we ordered this package but i don't know how to work depop but i couldn't figure that out so i just decided to order one from brandy but like it's just so pretty it's a v-neck it's a sweater vest i can't believe i own one of these look at that I need to stop before I go insane over this top. So we are going to move on to our last item of the day, which is the Rosa sweatpants. So here we have the famous 
rosy sweatpants. I think the color of these is amazing. What the heck? Look how deep that blue is. You probably can't see it on camera very well, but it is so incredible. They are so soft. They're also really long, like really long. Here is the length. The waist has an elastic, so it's very, very stretchy, so it can stretch out really, really far. The inside is made out of cotton and it has this like nice light blue color. The bottoms of the sweatpants also have these elastic, so they kind of cuff your ankles. The fabric is so soft on these sweatpants. The material is really thick and good quality. So these were 23 pounds. I feel like for 20 free pounds the quality the look i feel like these are amazing they look so nice they can be low waisted high waisted you can basically do anything with them like i don't i can't explain it but it's just really really nice the color is so amazing so those were the rosa sweatpants one of my favorite things on this planet and basically that is all the items i got from brandy melville so if you enjoyed this video i would really 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 appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel it really really does mean the world to me if you like this video don't forget to also subscribe comment it helps youtube show my videos to more people so yeah love you guys so so much i'll see you next video bye